Hello people of the internet, it was time for another adventure so we decided to pack our cars with all the camping gear that we've got because there's nothing there, no water, no electricity, you have to take everything, even the toilets are long drops, but it is such an untamed wildlife experience. So join us on this trip where we've traveled a thousand kilometers from Pretoria where I live to the first campsite in Deception Valley and the second campsite in Passage Valley. Um, it's such an amazing place and we had so much fun and awesome wildlife sightings. It's a long drive from Pretoria to the northern part of the central Kalahari Game Reserve. We did the trip in one session but it would be way better to split it over two days as we were quite tired after the 18 hour journey. The sandy tracks that connect the last town, Rakops, to Matsuere Gate also take longer to cover than expected. The roads in the reserve are not suited for 4x2 vehicles as you will be driving on either sand or mud. We were delighted to finally reach Matsuere Gate which is the portal to the northeastern side of the reserve. Fortunately, they let us in, even though we were running a bit late. Still on the road after it has been about 14 and a half hours of driving. Um, okay, we also had to do the border post. Um, so it is quite a long way. Don't try and do it in one day, people. Stretch it over two days. It's going to be way better. But I think we're getting close now. Uh, what's also getting close is the sunset. I am not so sure that we're going to make it in, uh, in good time to pitch our tents using daylight. We made it to our camp at Deception Valley, even though it was dark. The Central Kalahari Game Reserve is the largest and most remotely located reserve in Southern Africa. Plains, grassland and bands are separated by scattered dunes, with the aforementioned open areas providing the best game viewing opportunities. After the good summer rains, the grassy plains were teeming with life. Springbok and Gemsbok, also called Oryx, were plentiful. Yeah, it's a super nice campsite, as you can see, um, I think when it's a little drier and there's less foliage, uh, you could probably look into what they call the valley, which is less trees, more grass, very flat, and there you find like the antelope and the animals, and we found the lions that we found this morning and yesterday evening, they typically walk there as well. If you are lucky, you may even spot the famed black-maned Kalahari lions. <coughs> oh, that's a bummer. A lion that is allergic to grass? So the lion were quite active yesterday evening. Uh, this is my tent here. And uh, <laughs> uh, there's even lion tracks that are fresh. They are over our car tracks of yesterday evening that came up right to the tent. So a big lion visited me last night while I was sleeping. I did wake up and I, I did get out when they were quite close by. 
uh, just shining a torch but uh, then went to bed again and I think just after that sometime some lion came to sniff on my tent. As you can see not a small lion just look at that were you guys scared? No. Not at all? Did you sleep through it Linka? Yes. <laughs> and you Karina? I heard the roar. Ah okay and it was close the roar. It's a tough country Africa. We walked regularly around the campsite and looked for snake tracks and every hour or two hours there'd be a new snake track. Very difficult to find those snakes then but um, good to know that the reptiles are alive and well in this area. So look at this nice puff adder, Central Kalahari Game Reserve. We found it in the road. This is my brother, John. He's also an expert snake catcher. <laughs> Look at this, uh, it was quite feisty when we first got it. Uh, it started fleeing and was a mission to get it out of the grass. We did have to uh, act quickly. Um, and there were some close shaves, John. I nearly threw the snake on you. <laughs> you, you. You dodge quite fast when it comes to snakes, huh? Okay, that's more John Hunter, good technique. Good technique, John Hunter. So, doing some education as well with Kariana here. Yeah? <laughs> well done, Kariana. Boy. Puff adders were not the only snakes around, and we had two sightings of a very special cobra species, Anchitas cobra. This species does not occur in South Africa, so we were super happy to find these highly venomous cobras on our trip to Botswana. So this is the energetic bunch that came camping, especially that one, my brother John. He always, he always looks like that, doesn't he, Karina? <laughs> what a fantastic experience. Central Kalahari Game Reserve in Botswana is one of the best parks in Southern Africa that you can possibly visit. Central Kalahari Game Reserve is remote and beautiful. And it's just, it's something else. It's out of this world. So do make the trip there. I think it's worthwhile, even though it's a far drive. A long drive rather. Just go, just go explore, just go visit, just go view. It's hard to put into words just how spectacular Central Kalahari Game Reserve is and you will have to go and see it for yourself.